Yo, what up? It's your boy, me, Melly, man. We in the trap house. You already know how we doing it, man. We stay in the motherfucking trap house, don't we do? Giving y'all the hottest music on the streets right now. Let's get let's it. Get it. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, S.P. the Ghost, L.O.X. B-Block. Right now, I'm trapping in the trap house. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear what's going down? want to hear the hot interviews? You want to hear the hot songs? You want to hear what's popping in the street? Hit the trap house up. Ghost love the trap house. Big shout out to all my folks in the trap house. Salute, B-Block. B-Block. Nigga, this is one gun play, Don Logan, I'm out of this world. Welcome to my motherfucking universe, I'm true for the jack and I represent two M's, murder, mayhem, millions, Maseratis, motherfucker, making miracles, money motivated, Miami material, and right now you tune in to the motherfucking trap house, nigga. It's your boy, Ali, brother, Don. I'm officially rocking with a trap house rock show. It's deadlevel.com all day, every day. From the A-Town to North Cape to South Cape. From the Midwest to up North, down South, everywhere we rocking with it. Ali, Yes, indeed. It's the Mixed King. Run, G. And you're tuned into Trap House Rocks Radio with Miss LB and Z Numstar. What up, it's your boy Slim Thugger, and you're checking out Trap House Rock, man. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up, y'all? This your boy Lil Lady Bone, rocking out, man, right here on the Trap House Rock radio station. Y'all know what it is, Bone Thug style, baby. Say, say, what's happening, man? This your boy Shout to L.O. right now on Trap House Rocks. Rock. Yeah, 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 you already know what it is, you know what it was about, it's homie male checking in and fuck that life, homie, and we riding out with Trap House Rock right now, we live and direct, man, we don't recognize real, let's get to it. Uh, yep, yep, it's your man Bill Dance, one half of the world's famous M.O.P. Fire Squad, I'm not just in the building, I built this motherfucker and I know my way around, now, we in the trap house. Back up in the building, and right now we are going to get Shabam Sadiq on the line. Trap House Rocks Radio. Let's see what happens right now. Show me the money. Sorry, that mailbox really? is full. Thank- really, S Dub. You, you guys know I don't normally call, you, you know I don't normally call guests on the air, but you know what I'm saying we, we, we lost him, so we're gonna get we're gonna get him back up in the building. It's all good. Show me the money. Sorry, that <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, really? <laughs> I got the ill answering okay. machine. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know what? The thing about it is, I call him all the time because I do manage him for the people out there who don't know. Every time it gets me, whether I, re- you know what I'm saying? It, every time I'd be like, yo, fuck you mean, show me the money. So um, <laughs> let's try again. If he says, show me the money again, we're going to have a. You're tuned into the Trap House Rocks really? show. <laughs> really? You know, what's wrong with this dude, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is, is this Shabam Sadiq? Yeah, it's me. Show me the money. What happened? Y'all, you were know, talking to me and I wasn't there, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Y'all know how I do. Listen, okay, what had happened was... You text me, so I knew I didn't have you. So I called you on the air like three times, and everybody heard your voicemail say, show me the money. <laughs> That's my Jerry Maguire answer machine right I, there. I told the people it gets me every time, whether, I, you know, it, it's just, I forget every time. So when I hear it, I'm like, oh, shit, he got me again. But anyway, glad to have you here on Trap House Rocks. You know, we got DJ Chin, we got Napoleon Legend, and my boy Zenith Star in the building uh, tonight. Shabam Sadiq, let the world know just a little bit about who you are, because we got a lot to cover. Uh, from Brooklyn, you know what I mean? Been around since the 90s. You know, I'm still busting my pen. <clears throat> you know? 
<laughs> okay. That's, uh, let, let's that's talk. my brief description. Well, you've, you've been here on Trap House before, and uh, I want to let the people know that um, the song that we just heard is uh, Comeback Kid, and that's featuring Sky Zoo and FT. Tell the people just a little bit about that track. Uh, you know, featuring uh, Sky Zoo. He out there doing his thing in the world. And my boy FT, he part of my clique, um, Infinity Gauntlet. You know, FT been around since the 90s too. You know, I had metal things with Travel March and um, OC back in the days. Still working right now. Sky Zoo's part of the new, the new wave. Okay. You know, everybody's still working. Um, you know, there's a lot of independent artists out there who... Uh, haven't came close to doing uh, the work that you've done and, and being the places you've been and seeing the things you've seen. Uh, how do you feel right now knowing that you've accomplished all this so far and, and what can we expect for the rest of this year? Two-part question. Well, I just, I, you know, I just keep working. I, I do this because I love it, so I just continuously work. I continuously make music. So I always have something to put out, you know. I stay touring, you know, and it's been this way since, since, you know, mid to late nineties. Right. So I just, I just keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely do. Let's fill the people in a little bit. Uh, in the past few months, you've traveled. We, we want to let the people know that you've. Uh, I, I want to personally let you tell the people how Amsterdam was. And I want to give a shout out to Alter Productions, and you can let the people know who they are. Well, um, Alter Production is my, my my team out of France, out of Paris to be exact. You know what I mean? They got a lot of tracks with a lot of different good artists. You know, and their production team they do videos, they do uh, beats, and they do graphic arts. You know, got a couple of teams. You know, like my man Megadon, that was on earlier. That's the other. That's the other <laughs> team right there. He's, co he's coming on later, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but still, though, you know, that's a, it's all family. It's all a connection, and, and we put a lot of things together. You know, but um, Amsterdam was love. You, you know what Amsterdam is about. I was in a cloud nine the whole time. What was the best you chronic know? that you smoked in Amsterdam called? Ah. Uh, they had this coast of curse. Okay. That was the best one I smoked. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the one they had in abundance. <laughs> coast of curse. Yeah. We had a big show at um at the Melquay. You know what I mean? Me and Ra the Rugged Man. He's been around for a minute too. Right. Got a new album out. I mean, you know, Europe is always lovely. They always show mad love in Europe. They appreciate real hip hop. Yo, check it out. This uh, Napoleon, uh, Shabam, like, what, what, what would you say? Like, how is it, like, the feel of the crowd when you rock a show up in New York, whether, like, comparison to when you rock overseas in Europe? I mean, overseas is, is, is definitely a bigger crowd. You know what I mean? And, and, and they more live. They just more with it. I mean, New York, there's it's so many MCs in New York. And New York is kind of stuck up, son, because everybody, everybody come to New York. You got to come through New York. So, you know, if you, can press, if you can impress people in New York, then you can definitely impress people in Europe. You know what I mean? No, no doubt. Because no everybody in New York had their arms folded like, all right, show me what you got. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but in Europe, it's, That's what it's, it is. it's definitely all love. Yeah, it's been like that in Europe for, for, for forever, though. Even back in the jazz times, like you go to Europe, you know, and they show us mad love. Miles Davis and and, and, and Bird and all of them went out there to play and got shown mad love. <clears throat> you know, so it's been that way. It's the same way with hip hop. So, yeah, question I want I want a question I want to know is um going through these different parts of the world performing, what what are the names of some of the artists that you met? that you felt like, you know, if they was in, in the States, this nigga could pop. You know what I mean? Because a lot of motherfucking, you know the difference between a nigga that could pop in the States and when you out of state and you hear somebody and you like, all right, this shit's so-so, you know, it's dope for out here, but it's not universal. Like, 
are there any names of artists that you met along the way on these tours that you felt like, yo, if this dude was in the States, like, he'd probably be that dude. What, dudes from over there? Yeah. I mean, everybody I be meeting for that be from over here. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was trying to figure out because I hear you dropping names. You know, like, indeed, I, everybody, I, 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 everybody I run into over there be from over here. I mean, from the West Coast, from Midwest, from 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 the East Coast. Yeah, from everybody so you, they, they be over here. So basically, they like real, here. real real talk, you just you just answered a question a lot of people been trying to fucking figure out, man, and and that would be um. You know what I mean? It's more fucking artists here than there are fans. So that's the reason why yes. these very credible artists don't get the sold out shows and this, that, and the third when they over here. Right. Cause yeah, because everybody, everybody uncle and cousin rhyme over here. For sure that. For sure that. <laughs> and brother. Mama too. Brother, you know. <laughs> so with that, that, with that being said, like, I would, I would probably. This just me saying. I would probably fucking if I pop in Europe. I would probably just live there and 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 reign at the top of the charts like fuck America. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah you, you would like to say that, but you know what I mean. Once you over there and you living over there, you common already. So <laughs> they I see you it. all the time. They like, I he live over here. He ain't that special. I you know what I mean? It. The fact that we traveling from a long distance to come over there and perform is what makes it special. Once you start living over there, they be like, all right, well, you live right around the corner. We don't need to book him. Yeah. You I know what I'm saying? It. So it's kind of like a catch-22. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. you, you, you go out there and you rock, and then, you know, they got other people that, that rock after you, and, you know, they, they book you like every year or every two years. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like, so. It depends how popular you are. Now, you know I mean? um, Shabam Sadiq, um, I want to let the people know you, you've got a few projects that are out there right now uh, that the people can go check out. I want to go back, though, to the Relentless 2. Uh, I, I don't want to, yeah. you know, after you, you do so many projects that, you know, it's like, why, why are these people making new project after new project, but they're not pushing the old ones? That's why a lot of times the music just gets lost and they forget about it, whatever. That's why I'm always sharing Relentless 2 and, of course, the projects before that and the ones that are up to date. But you've got that Relentless 2 out there, which, by the way, is my favorite. And then we have uh, The Sound and the Fury that you dropped this year and Degrees of Separation. Um, I, I just want to put that out there so that people can go get your projects. Now, tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to break the exclusive track with you and General DV, uh, it's called You Don't Want None. Um, you can tell them a little bit about that track, if you will. Yeah, You Don't Want None is is, is from my new album called Keepers of the Lost Art that we dropping in the new year. You know what I mean, the Comeback Kid, that last joint that we played is off the Keepers of the Lost Art also. And the video's you know up mean? there. And yeah. the video's up Good. there. You can catch all my videos at um, sdub13.com. SDUB13.com. You know what I mean? They got all my videos, got all my connects, um, social network sites. They got pictures. They got a blog on there, everything. What I want to do right now is I want you to stay on the line with us because I want my boys here in the studio and, and the people out there listening to hear this track, You Don't Want None, featuring General DV, and then we're going to come back and, 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 and get their reaction to this track, all right? So we'll be right back with y'all. All right. You ain't no... This is the awakening. You're tuned into the Gosh, Trap House indeed. Rocks show. Let's get it. Selfie. Get up off that couch, Man. put that drink down. down. Get some work in and stop being a clown. Steps to perfection, my team got the sound. From Paris back to Bucktown. My stripes attack, got the whole world on my back. Bring it back to that brawl, show these creeps how to rap. Can't you hear it in my voice, that hunger that speaks volumes. That show okie dope rappers like car fumes. Your car punt, punt, backfire, what, what? Y'all don't want nothing with us, so please shut up. I raise up funds for the family, honey. Put rappers under pressure without the use of a gun. Colossal balls, ready to bang for every morsel. So I kick your bitch ass off that bar stool for letting that nigga speak for you. I warned you. Yeah. Now this thing here is just chaos and turmoil. You don't want none. I ain't much. Let your ass up with the flame to you. Uh. You don't want none. I ain't much. It's Brooklyn, baby, with the blame on it. What? You don't want none. You don't want it. You don't want none. What? You don't want it. You don't want none. 
bitch ass up with the flame to you Fresh blood on that money, kid Look at what you did Stepping out into the jungle Like a little kid Raised by the bears and hyenas No misdemeanors Felony cases Stepping off with suitcases Already got past all the basics Ran through the bases Slapped all they smiling faces All to be placed So I tighten my laces Goodness gracious It's just a small taste Dig me, dig up records And we do hip hop With that vintage future Pimped out Diddy Bop Yeah, I walk through many city blocks Respected by the goons and the have-nots Cause I'm mad smart And I play my part to advance the culture Get too close, the blue flame might melt you Live with them cars that that bitch fake dealt you I fly too high, I make moves with Delta I don't want none, I ain't much Let your ass up with the flame to you I don't want none, what? I ain't much It's Brooklyn, baby, with the blame on it You don't want none You don't want a kid You don't want none My team move militant, hammers is license. Those who got strikes still carry some lightning. Out of town movement, strapped with the sea. Did the grave for the fools, put pressure on shit. See, we come in peace, but we can leave you with pieces. Move bowels on your theme, leave it covered in feces. While I'm red or white, Nordic or rugby matching the leases. Beastly toxic, none of your rhymes can eat me and lead to dosage. Put roll holes in your street cred. I'm a nice guy, but still opt to fly your head. Opposed to force, somebody gon' end up dead. I got shooters, put it work for a slice of bread. Hungry savages, you looking like boar's head. Even if you don't eat pork, you eat legs. Catch a slug in your torso, neck in your legs. Leak fluid like a punctured up beer keg. You don't want none, I ain't much. Let your ass up with the flame to you. What? You don't want none, I ain't much. It's Brooklyn, baby, put the blame on it. You don't want none. Nah. You don't want to kill. You don't want none. Nah. You don't want it. You don't want none. I ain't much. Let your ass up with the flame to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up in the building. You don't want none. You don't want none. Uh, you don't okay. want it. <laughs> um, Shabam, Shabam, you don't want it. You have punchlines for days, man. Let's ask my boys what they think about the track Zenith Star. Man, you already know this. Uh, the nigga can rap like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? My, I love to hear the nigga when he on real, real hip hop shit and. People get the game fucked up, and I'm not saying, you know, that 90s flavor or hard drums or whatever the case may be is the definition of real hip-hop, but to me, real hip-hop is when the beat bang, the nigga, you know what I mean, delivery is dynamic, the verse is flawless, like, when you got, that's real hip-hop shit to me, when you hear joints and it just sound like I could listen to this shit 20 years from now, you know what I mean, and that you don't want none, that shit bang. I already, you already know, LB, I fuck with the boy on, on like two or three or four, like my favorite shits. And I'll be like, damn, man, you, you know, that joint off the, the part one mixtape, the Miss LB joint, you know, that so was, I fuck uh, with, I fuck with shit, crank. damn, man. Thanks, my team, that word, I appreciate crank. it. That was Crank and Sucker for no, Love real, on the first man. one. Yeah, that Sucker for Love is like, that nigga, like, when I listen to you be real shit, like, it... It's that shit from those days that we love, but it's 2013. You feel me? Like, niggas don't know how to do yeah. that. So the fact that you do that, man, that means everything. That's that's the reason why we have, you know what I mean, the, the, the Joey Badass is doing what the fuck he do right now because niggas is out there laying that groundwork and niggas laid it and continuing to do so, man. So I always salute you on that, man. The, you know, the delivery is fucking flawless. The joint is always deep. The nigga always give you bars. You know what I mean? Whether it's punchlines or not, because of, you one of them niggas like, you know what I mean? I feel like Lil Finesse was like the king of punchlines to me when, when that shit started getting popular. As a kid, I would listen to Finesse and be like, this nigga be punchline after punchline. Like, Shabam Sadiq to me, uh, like... And, and, them and Big L was cool. right behind him. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, but to me, like, yeah, you got punchlines, but this shit just come. It's not like you trying to make trying a punchline. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I love his verses, man, and every joint that he dropped, man. And nigga, you know, and then with DV on the hook, that shit monstrous. That's what I want to hear DV do. You feel me? Like, if, if you're going to be out here talking that you was di doing this shit before Nate Dog, I need to hear you three times as much because I know you was. But niggas need to hear that. Like, DV on a hook is bananas, man. So, oh, look at that man, wait like, till niggas see scores. the video, though. The video is The video is next level video. That's how I'm trying to take my time. I don't want to 
we just dropped the Sky Zoo joint, so I don't want to drop right. too many videos back to back. Right. Well, well, you you but, can you can check out that single. It's on Hulk Share and um, Two Dope Boys and uh, SoundCloud. You know, a couple other sites have picked it up, so you blog, can get that yeah. single. You know, all the blogs I, always I pick up everything. I want to see y'all two niggas rock that in the city, man. When y'all when y'all bring that back oh, home man. and get it to the city, <laughs> I want to see that. I got to be at that show, man. You feel me? Real talk. DJ Chin. Yeah, guys. turn it up. I'm 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 gonna see if I could do it the 18th at uh at the release party for my boy DJ Skids from WNYU. Crazy. He, he he got an album coming out called BQE that I'm on and we performing. I'm gonna see if I if DV can come out so we can smash that. Yeah, now, cool. now um they can go to shabam sadiq dot com. Um. If you don't know or they could go to sdub13.com 13. 13. for sure. S, yeah, because they, they're going to get the spelling all fucked up with Shabam Sadiq. But that's okay. If you kind, <laughs> if you kind of type it in Google or something, it's going to come up. Um, <laughs> you know, I want to ask well, you. Sdub13.com, S-Dub though, is the easy route. Well, I hate to take it here, but I'm going to, uh, before you get up out of here, I know you a busy man. Um, what is it like? having uh miss lb management uh on your team and behind you hectic <laughs> hectic calls in the morning like cow this is what i need <laughs> make it happen <laughs> for real for real i mean you know it's all love man of course, of it's course, because up. we all trying to, we all trying to reach the same place. We trying to, you know what I'm saying, reach I'm, our goals. So I'm anybody who, who down for the cause is definitely, you know what I mean, peoples, <clears> man. I'm, I, I know, I know Napoleon could, could get with that and enough. Like, yes, you know, we all, we oh, all no. trying to reach our goals, man. So Another one thing. hand wash the other and both hands wash the face. So. Another thing, uh, S Dub. Another thing. If y'all notice, sometimes I quote him because he says the realest shit. And and what he just touched on briefly was uh, one of his lines of his song. He says, "I'm trying to move with people who's making some progress," and that's the bottom line all to it right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm not trying to roll right. with motherfuckers who keep online complaining. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, my life is so bad. <laughs> I'm not trying to rock with them. You know what I'm saying? You, you represent oh, who you rock with. Doing. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to hear that. And those type of people, I'll be erasing these. <laughs> Kills the vibe. You know Kills they, the vibe. Yeah, they, they be killing my vibe crazy. Like, come on. Well, one more they thing. One, to... one more thing before you get up out of here. You do something that not a lot of artists do. I mean, you have a collector's vinyl uh, on some of your music that the people can go check out. What made you do that? I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I started in the 90s era. I was a shorty. Okay. So, you know, we that's what we did. We released vinyls and CDs. And, you know, digital wasn't... It, it started coming into play, like, in 2000. So now, to cover the whole gambit, you know, you got to have that vinyl for them vinyl collectors. You know, yes, the sir. people who like... The, I, I've been to people cribs that got, like thousands of vinyls, yes. you know, and that's what they do. That's the thing they like. So I really appreciate King, that. King, KingUnderground.com got my new vinyl for Seasons Change and this song called Relax. You know what I mean? They got the limited edition vinyl. It's like olive green. I got it. the mean cover. You know, just keeping it tradition with hip-hop. That's dope. I'm that's jealous dope. of that. That's dope, <laughs> nigga. Word up. <laughs> Word up. I'm jealous of that. Fuck that. I want my shit on vinyl. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Well, I'm a collector, bro. Throw your, I'm, throw, I'm, throw, I'm, throw your shit on vinyl, son. Yeah, you just go, yeah. go to one of them dudes and throw your shit on vinyl, man. That's yeah. gay. You I, can do I, it. You got music. You know what I mean? That's all it's about. It's, it's all about just doing it, man. I mean, yeah. you know, the world is in our hand. We can, we can do whatever we want. We just got to get with the vinyl pressing plants. You know what I mean? Right now, it's no. They can't really tell us we can't do nothing, man. Everything is out there. It's digital, yeah. it's vinyls, whatever we got the money to invest in. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a couple vinyls floating, some imports on me, some AVA records and shit. But I ain't. Woo, I, I, AVA, you already yeah. know that's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. 
But I um, you know, I would love, I would love a, a new cover, like a slip in joint. You know what I mean? Fuck the little circle. I love the full cover. But I'm a vinyl junkie, yeah. man. Like I, I, I collect. The full cover is crazy, sexy. You already know. Yes, sir. Sitting up on sir. that shelf. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. You know. That's all. Yeah, thank you. That but yeah, man. man. I, I love that. Yeah, you know. I salute you, man. Like you know, and and everything y'all niggas is doing, man. Keeping. You know that motherfucking momentum, man, and, and like to see the when I came out to see y'all perform, man, and see that everybody on the undercard was was already ready, and these are with people that you know what I mean are carrying on this tradition of hip hop. Cause I I have been off the the underground scene, the overground scene. I just been in between doing what I was doing, and when I really got a chance to go out and see other brothers who I may have heard the music or you know may have been um stumbled across something and then get to see some niggas live and be like, man, these niggas is really, really repping this shit and it's good music, man. When I see General Steel shutting it down, it's the same shit. It's the same feel. You know what I mean? And everybody coming out, man. Yeah. Out the you know, to yo, you know, you know what? I, I'm going to second that because, yo, for real, Shabam, like, when I first got to New York and, I and like, you know, when I moved to Brooklyn and I started going out in the scene and stuff and some of these shows, like, the, those quote unquote real hip hop shows like you was always one of the heads that would stand out. You know what I mean? Like even before I actually met you, was introduced to you, I was already noticing because once you you got the voice that carries and you got the rhyme, you be spinning these ill acapellas at your joints. And like you always Hell yeah, like, that right there, that, that, that separate everybody. That separate everybody. Them acapellas yes, ain't sir. no music. You hear everything. Like I right, son <laughs> saying something. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't hide behind the beat when you do a acapella. It's just you it's and your all. voice in the crowd. It's so, <laughs> so if you ain't saying nothing, the whole crowd know it. That's right. Yes. Word up. Now, Word um, up. Shabam Sadiq, we're gonna let you get up out of here tonight, but uh all the people who are out there listening, check him out, sdub thirteen dot com. Go check out all the latest yeah. Uh, uh, material he's got out he, he drops videos quarterly and or more than that but uh just stay on the lookout for him he always does big things now aren't you traveling back overseas in a couple weeks yeah november we doing the, the polo planet tour me mayhem loren and uh thirsty how the third i love that we're gonna, yeah, yeah we're gonna be out there yeah. for for a month or two you know what I mean? yes. making our rounds with the yeah, first man. date is at the cannabis club in amsterdam Okay. Well, y'all stay on the lookout for that, all the dates and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to keep you updated. If you follow us on Twitter, you're going to see all the information going out about all these shows. And uh, I thank you for coming back through the Trap House again, man. Um, what can yeah, I say? Yeah, thanks for having me. You, you thanks for having know, me. You already know you have thanks the keys to the Trap House. Word. So you I could come when I, when I want. I could come in when I'll, I want. I'll let you get in the refrigerator <laughs> and all that shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, yo, Miss Up, you got you got to show him the money though. Show me the money. <laughs> show me the money. You got to show me the money. No. But uh, thank you so much for coming through, man. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for having me. I salute. <laughs>